Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Fourth of July to you. Hopefully the 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 fireworks are blowing up, the grills heating up. You got a little bit of bear burger on there. Put a little bit of cheese and ketchup on there, and you are set. Maybe an ice cold drink or two. Your choice, adult sodas or regular ones. It's up to you. Now today we're going to look at the market. Some pessimistic view out there from Zuckerberg. Uh, some I, I think we should pay attention to. Personally, I still think what I've been calling is going to happen. We'll have a very good rally into uh, probably middle to late Q3 through Q4. And then we're going to have to watch ourselves as we go into 2023. But we're going to talk about that. Now, before we do, of course, take advantage of this. The link down below, Moomoo, giving you 10 free stocks worth up to $25,000 altogether. And of course, any deposit, put a penny in there, get any deposit, you can get five free stocks worth up to 12,500. And I believe it's actually six stocks uh, for a one penny deposit, it is. It's, uh, and so you actually get a shot at $15,000 in free stocks for one penny deposit. Definitely take advantage of that. And Weeble down below as well, six free stocks for one penny deposit. Some really good opportunities. Uh, to celebrate your 4th of July. Now, I did pull up the Asian markets at the time of me recording. You can see green, green, a little bit of red on the Hang Seng. And it uh, gives you an idea that maybe tomorrow for us that we could see a little bit of green. And you can see how uh, some of the stocks we had last week ended up on Friday. Uh, and uh, you can see that. But let's get into what Mark Zuckerberg was talking about. Here you go. And uh, you can see the big comment when he gets in, it makes a dark prediction. CEO of social media giant, giant uh, Meta was cautiously optimistic during the first quarter results. Not so much this time. Check this out. Worst downturn. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, now seems to share the pessimistic view. During the traditional weekly Q&A session with company employees on June 30th, he says, what? What does he say? He comes out and says, this might be one of the Worst downturns that we've seen in recent history, according to audio recorded uh, recording obtained by Reuters. And so you can tell what Mark Zuckerberg thinks is going to happen. You can see that he believes this could be one of the worst downturns out there. And we know when you look at the Fed and we know the Fed has decided that it was going to be a soft landing, that we would be able to get through this. And at the end of the day, uh, that they would be able to drop that inflation down as well as keep unemployment for going way, you know, too much higher. It's going to climb a little bit. And I think it, they called for it to, to go up a, a small bit. They expect GDP to continue to grow like 1.7, 1.7 uh, for next year and then 1.9 moving forward. So we still see some ugliness. Some of the reports I've been seeing are saying that we might officially be in a recession uh, now, that we may we might have negative GDP for the second straight quarter in a row. So are we in a recession officially? Uh, some of the pros out there are saying we just might be. Others are saying now nah, they think we're going to miss it just by a little bit. And uh, I did a lot of those reports showing you the historical averages of what happened after a recession. Usually the market's recovering at the last half of that recession because the Fed usually, usually starts to do uh, quantitative easing during a recession. They start to lower rates they start to try to get business to, to invest more. All this good stuff. Unemployment, they're trying to drag down. Instead of doing quantitative easing during a recession, you are going to go ahead and see the Fed continuing with quantitative tightening, which is in the, usually the worst thing you can do during a recession because you keep putting more pressure on the overall economy. And now a lot of the world believes we're going to see a global recession. I think it's like 75 to 90% now. I believe we're going to see a global recession sometime within the next two years. Uh, something, though, a little positivity, a little positivity for you here. And uh, here you go. Check this out. Now, over this is the second half. Uh, and this is when the S&P 500 has fallen 15 percent or more in the first half of the year back to 1932. And you can see it's happened only five times, only five times. And those five times, this is the next six months that has happened. Every single time the S&P 500 has fallen 15% or more in the first six months, the next six months has always been higher. Does that mean it's going to happen? Do we have our first red? Do we have a run? Where do we go with this? But on the median, 15% and the average return, 23%. Throughout the outlier, though, I like the median a little bit better in this one, 15.25%. 
And then we move into, if we actually take a look at the S&P 500, if we go into the S&P 500, uh, just say it was around 3,800, I would expect that would be 381.95, 70, roughly 4,400 in the S&P 500 to finish the year based on the median of all those situations. I actually think we could see something closer to the 4,700 or more closer to the actual mean, not just the median. So I'm liking what we're seeing there and I'm hoping that, that that we see that come out there, like I said, what's going on here. But it's always been green. If we learn from history, especially with the fear index off the charts right now, uh, that could help us out. All right, here we go. If there's a recession, don't count on the government to come to the rescue with stimulus checks and boosted unemployment benefits like we did last time. Now, what they used to do is that the government would come out and they would extend unemployment from 26 weeks. They'd you know, make it a lot longer for people because they knew we we're in recession and uh, they would try to help people out. Unemployment is going through the roof or not, you know, unemployment. Yeah, is going through the roof. People are losing their jobs. And then, of course, on top of that, uh, you have uh, inflation just going skyrocketing. So if the government decides to extend unemployment, make it longer, help people out, send out stimulus checks, what's going to happen with inflation? Well, it's going to keep it higher. And that's the reason I think uh, you're seeing a lot of fear out there by investors, the Fed, a, a lot of uh, big institutional investors as well. Uh, and the one thing the government does not want to do is sit out there and, and put more gas on that fire. Like I said, some of the state governments are doing it right now, but the Fed knows that that's something they really don't want to see is some big uh, giveaway by the federal government right now. So they're throwing cups of water on this fire. And over there, uh, you got the state governments throwing little cups of gas on that fire and it's still continuing to rage that inflation and as, as inflation stays high you're going to have a lot of issues uh at the end of the day because you're going to see inflation continue to put downward pressure on the overall market once the fed and here it is everybody keeps asking me i get a, every single day when will the market turn i'm going to make it easy on you you're going to be able to have a really good idea when the market's going to turn once they can officially see that inflation is dropping and I'm saying consistently, maybe 8.6 last month, or as I say in May, maybe June goes down to 8.3, 8, something like that. And then, you know, July maybe drops another two to three tenths of a percent, and you see it drop seven point something, and it continues to fall down. Once we see those like two months in a row and consistently dropping, I think at that time, you see the market start to rally. Uh, remember, over the next 12 months, we would expect it to be up 13.2% on average anytime we had this type of inflation. Once we see it starting to drop, put that together with the other chart I just showed you, showing you that on average, when we have 15% or more loss during the first six months, we are green every single time since 32. And you got that coupled with, like I said, inflation topping out, coming down, that's good. And the other thing, it usually spurs the next bull market, the Fed pivots. Is the Fed gonna be forced to pivot sooner than later, especially if we go into a massive recession and everything else, uh, possibly, very, very possible. And I'm watching that because of my energy plays, which you know I have a ton of cash invested in CVE, Chevron, a lot of these different uh, companies out there. It's Novus Energy, obviously. So we'll find out what's going to go. But here's one last article I wanted to bring up for everyone. And this is out of Bank of America. Three best times to go ahead and invest in the market. I highlighted it for everyone. Three entry points. That's what they see. June, July. All right. Running from June, July as the bear market matures. That's a good time. I, I've been buying all the way through this. Uh, in the third and fourth quarter, as earnings are reset, and so we know they think, and I think we're going to have a run late third, middle of the late third quarter through four. And then early next year, when the Fed tightening cycle winds down, they're basically telling you what we think, and I absolutely believe this, that the Fed is going to have to pivot. So inflation starts coming down late this year. That helps spur the Q3, Q4 rally. You had the Fed later as numbers in the economy keeps getting hammered, finally saying, look, we see inflation dropping nicely. We're going to slow down the tightening. We're going to go back to quarter point raises, not even every single meeting. We can slow it down now. And that's when you're going to see the bull market starting to possibly start. And the bull markets last, I think, like five years on average. So it's going to be a good run for everyone once we do find the bottom. And if we do have a panic amount of selling and everything goes down, I'm not going to lose like, oh, this is it. The end of the, I'm not going to lose faith in it. I, I know in the long run, 
if we go out there 10 years from today, the market will be so much higher. Uh, the question is how much higher, what sectors are going to be the best and everything else. That's why you want to subscribe down below if you haven't done it. So that's my take. If you haven't done it, get that free, get the free stocks from um, Weeble right now, six for just putting a penny in. Moomoo Moo, giving you a chance at $15,000 in free stocks for one penny. Use that one. And of course, my Patreon links in the description. Just click the read more, hit that. You can come over and join us. And uh, we got some good things over there in a private Discord. You can see all my stocks in the portfolio as well. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.